Felix Sanchez. I'm the owner of Fat Cat Grill and, you know, all around maintenance guy. Like most, you know, teenagers, you work in a fast food restaurant. And then from that, it got a little more, I began to get more interested in it. So my sh uh, chef moved me over to a steakhouse. We went over to the steakhouse and I started getting, you know, growing a passion for it. I moved to Las Vegas. I worked at the Mandalay Bay there at the Venetian. And then we came back home. And I didn't go back to work for any restaurant at that time. Uh, so I just thought maybe I'd try something different. I worked for the Department of Transportation here for a few years. And then that, I think I always just loved cooking. So uh, one day we came upon a location and you know, we just jumped into it. And I always said if I was gonna work in another restaurant, it'd be my own restaurant. You're constantly thinking about what can you do different? How can I be uh, more efficient as, you know, faster to get the orders out? How can I help one of your employees that maybe is slowing down in that side, you know, and, and where is she more beneficial to the, the company? So you're constantly thinking of that, you know, and us being family, we get home and we talk about business for another half hour, sometimes an hour, depending on how deep the conversation gets. And then we get here in the morning and we try to adjust you know, if, if there was a slight flaw during the day, you say, hey, how can we fix that? To put you in the right path to owning a food truck would be customer service is, a, is I would say, 99% of it. Knowing how to cook, another one. You know, and some math. You know, knowing your, knowing your numbers. That'll keep you on the right path of, of at least getting started, you know? I, I, I think that's the most important thing. I jumped into this with restaurant training, but a food truck is, is a little different. I think it takes a little bit more. Uh, for instance, I would say a restaurant, it's, it's connected to the power grid, you're connected to the sewer, city water, all that. Those are things you don't have to worry about. Well, a food truck, you have water, you know, 50 gallons of water, 50, 25 gallons of gray water. You know, you have certain amount that you're going to work with and you're going to have to figure out how are you going to make this work for the day? You're going to have to have propane. You're, you, you know, all those supplies that in a food truck, you can't carry all those supplies in one food truck. It, you're going to have to, it, it's going to take a little bit more work. It is a lot of work. You know, food trucks are fun. It is fun, you know, uh, but there's a lot of long hours. You have, you know, on a short day, you're, you got 10 hours into it. That's a short day. Now, if you do your own bookkeeping, there you got another hour at home. You know, you got an accountant that you got to go to. We're in tax season right now. So now we got to go deal with the accountant and make sure all your numbers are correct. We're open five days a week. I work six days a week. So and I work, so I'd say on average, I'm working 62, 63 hours a week. I, I really think that they need to know uh, uh, what it entails to open a restaurant, the hours, the amount of work that it's gonna take, you know, uh, and, and the love that you're gonna have to put into this to make it successful. You know, I think uh, anything that you do, you can make, you successful as long as you put the love into it and the time you know the hours the sweat everything and I think people need to know that I do love the work I do I love the industry I love everything about it I love the customer service end of it I I love being creative I I'm not much of a, I'm not competitive with other people I think I'm very competitive with myself I'm always trying, as you've seen, I have seven different salsas, and they're all homemade. Uh, our teriyaki is homemade, you know, our mayo, all that stuff we do. And I'm always trying to come up with a different one and be like, is that one better than this one? You know, it's just, I, I'm, I'm really creative with myself, and I think that's, I, I just learned to love that, you know. I, I really do love the business.